Welcome to our lecture online. Here we can try our hand at this example. They're telling us to evaluate, with other words, find the sum. Find the sum of this particular series. That's what they're asking us to do. Notice there's going to be five terms because i goes from 1 to 5. And this is the formula that we're trying to evaluate. With other words, we're going to take this and we're going to replace i by 1, then we're going to replace i by 2, then we're going to replace i by 3, and so forth, and add them all up and find one final value. Okay, let's do that. First, i is going to be equal to 1, so this becomes 1 minus 3 divided by 1 plus 1. Plus, now we're going to replace i by 2, so we get 2 minus 3 divided by 2 plus 1. Plus, now we're going to replace i by 3, so we get 3 minus 3 divided by 3 plus 1 plus now i becomes equal to 4 so we end up with 4 minus 3 divided by 4 plus 1 plus now we replace i by 5 and we get 5 minus 3 divided by 5 plus 1 so in the numerator we get 1 2 3 4 5 minus 3 and in the denominator we get 1 2 3 4 5 in each one plus one. Now we need to evaluate each term and sum them up. So this is equal to minus two over two plus, that's going to be a minus one over three plus a zero over four plus a one over five plus a two over six. Simplifying this, so this becomes a minus one minus a third plus zero plus a fifth and plus Two six, which becomes one third. Now, of course, we need to sum all that up. We have some fractions. The common denominator is 15, 3 times 5. So this becomes minus 15 over 15, minus 5 over 15, plus 0, plus 3 over 15, and plus 5 over 15. Now, everything is over a common denominator. We don't have to worry about the 0. That's minus 20 plus 8, that becomes minus 12 over 15, which can be simplified to minus, that would be uh, 4 over 5, minus 4 over 5. And so, that's uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 times 3 is 15. And, now what we can say is that the valuation of this is equal to minus 4 fifths. And that is how it's done. What if they want to sum it to a very big number? Ah, that comes later. We'll find the shortcut methods with the special formulas. That's right. Yes, because we can even add up infinite sums.